Uh, this is our new Phantom Quad, and it's a second version. It's been improved. Uh, the, the advantage of this bike is for people that have a balance problem or, or just don't want to worry about balance. And it also has a, a high seat, makes it uh, a little more safe in traffic. And it has the, the outrigger wheels right at your center of gravity, so you get maximum stability. And the, the improvement is right here, we have this adjustable nut with an off-center hole. And as you screw it up or down, you can raise or lower the wheel. And to get the, uh, the right amount of stability so that, so that when you're riding, all four wheels are touching at the same time. Hi, I'm Judy from Reverse Gear. We're the official clothing sponsor of Recumbent CycleCon this year. Um, for Recumbent CycleCon, we have a jersey that's done in the Cafe Olay style and features the unique pockets on the front, zip pockets on the front. For the show, we've also introduced a full zip jersey, first full zip recumbent jersey, and it also has the pockets on the front in the Phoenix design, featuring the Phoenix on the front and the back, and also the long sleeve version of it. These are the newest of our products, and we have 27 styles of recumbent jerseys in everything from a sleeveless to a one sleeve to the cafe only line and we also have the side zip pockets in the chevron line. What makes our clothing is really unique is that um, we've not only put the pockets on the front, taken off the tail, made the jersey much more comfortable around the neck and the arms because when you're riding in the recumbent position your clothing slides up and you want it to be more comfortable. We've also got a unique bent liner in our shorts which is a very soft absorbent liner making them extremely comfortable to ride in. The liner goes down the legs as well to make sure that there's no chafing when you're riding. and I have Frank here from Fairfield, Ohio. I'm going to give him a quick introduction to how to ride a cruise bike. So I'm going to step onto the bike and I'm going to just feel the seat and I'm going to lean back. I'm going to notice that the backrest is narrower than a lot of recumbents because the idea here is to support the spine but to allow free movement of the upper body because this bike does engage the upper body like no other recumbent does. Next, you want you to feel the brakes so you can make the bike secure by hitting the brakes there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the leg length, okay, so that your knee is just bent slightly when you're at full extension. So for me, I have longer legs, so I've, I have it extended out here. For you, it might be a little shorter, okay? But I'm going to put it out here where I like it. Next, I'm going to have you walk the bike around, Fred Flint's on the bike, and I want you to feel the front end. It's going to feel heavier than you're used to. So we're just going to walk the bike around, let the, let the front end swing around a little bit. And just feel that that front end is heavier than, you, than you're used to. Next, when you're comfortable, what we're going to do is we're going to point the bike down a gentle hill, very slight grade. 
and I'm going to start pedaling. I'm going to de deliberately and carefully bring my foot up to the pedal and begin pedaling. If I feel unbalanced, I'm going to bring my feet down and hit the brakes if I feel unbalanced. I'm just going to hit the brakes, put my feet down, come to a full stop. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. You want to give it a try? Um, this truck just has one quick release down here. That's the only quick release on the entire bike. Push button here just to keep everything in place and also you can put it back together and it clicks when it's in the right position. Now you slide the seat forward and there's a bracket here which stops the seat from rotating. The pull cord which you just pull forward and lift and the trike's all in position. Drop in the boom, hold the seat and you're ready to go.